joined the army on the 26th of October 1938. That was about six months before the war started. I was sent over to the Bickley Battery on Rottnest Island. I'd never been to Rottnest before. There were two guns at the Bickley Battery. I was on the one on the right hand side. Uh, the shells were 100 pound and we used to have a lot of practice uh, loading the dummy loader and firing dummy rounds out to sea. We aimed at a patrol boat called the Wadjum Up. It used to carry a drogue, which was a target. We used to fire at that. On the six inch guns, there'd be a layer for line, a layer for elevation, there'd be a number two on the breech, there'd be two men on the rammer, there'd be about six men on the gun. There'd be about five or six men around the gun each time it went off. They would have been very accurate. <laughs> they nearly were. When uh, one of our girls, this was a, a shoot that we had, uh, and we had the colonel from the mainland over to watch it and see everything. And the girl that was on the rangefinder, uh, of course being new and having something and knew, knowing that the colonel's there, everybody was a little bit edgy and this particular girl, she was good on the range finding and everything else. Where she made her mistake, the wadjum up was the one that would used to tow the car, uh, the target, and she saw this big wadjum up vessel going across and knew it was that that was you know what was the practice. Instead of putting the range finder on the target behind, she put it on the vessel. And of course the guns shot went over the vessel, fortunately, and all the men in the vessel, all the sailors, jumped in the water. <laughs> it was hilarious. The reduction of Japan as an immediate threat meant Rottnest coastal defences could be reduced and by the end of the war the guns had been decommissioned. In the 1960s they were removed from their emplacements and cut up for scrap, but finally moved, one to a latent battery on the mainland and the other positioned in front of you here at the barracks.